Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to our University Apiary where we're going to show you how the ProVap 220 works. This is the oxalic acid sublimator or vaporizer that we've just recently done an unboxing video of and today we thought we'd come out, it's a bit chilly but the sun's shining so we thought we'd just show you piece by piece the setup that we're going to use. It's a mains operated system but you can with the use of a leisure battery and an inverter set it up so that you can take it to an out apiary where you don't have any power. So we're going to go through the individual components. We're going to look at the really important components of health and safety because when you're using oxalic acid this is going to be one of the critical areas that you need to pay attention to. And then we're going to give a quick demonstration uh, using some water, which will hopefully produce some steam rather than uh, just venting oxalic acid into the atmosphere. So uh, we'll take a look at all of that and then I'll put all of the information down in the description below so that if there's anything that you want to have a look at in particular, you can go to the links and check it out there. Before we get started, uh, a quick reminder that from the beginning of March, we'll be producing three videos a week, and those will all go out each week on our Patreon page, and one of those will be selected to then be published on our YouTube channel. So please do take a look at our Patreon page. Again, the details are in the description below, and uh, you'll see that you can sign up for all three videos, plus some extras, from as little as $1 a month. So this is the ProVap 220. It's uh, a model of oxalic acid sublimator or vaporizer that I'm delighted to say that we are now the sole UK distributors for. So if you'd like to take a look at it, please do have a look at our website. And again, the details are in the description below. So it's basically an oxalic acid sublimator that takes the oxalic acid crystals and turns, turns them into a vapour form so that you can treat honeybees through the winter and in broodless periods uh, using oxalic acid. And that's a treatment for the varroa mite. So the unit itself is a really well made unit. Uh, it's a mains unit and comes supplied here in the UK with a moulded three pin plug. So you could use it, if you have an apiary with a power supply, you could use it with um, a main supply. However, we're going to use it with a battery and something called an inverter, and I'll show you those in a moment. It's got a really well-made handle on it. On the back, if you saw the unboxing, you will have seen that it's got a digital readout on the back, and we'll show you that in action shortly. This is where um, all of the work is done. So the uh, entire construction is based on a steel rod that runs from the handle all the way under the bottom of the unit. And on that, it's got a uh, soldered metal stand and the unit sits quite nicely on that rocker and it keeps the heated element away from the floor. The power supply comes through a well-protected cable at the bottom here and goes into the cup itself and also on this side you can see that there's a temperature sensor here as well. So we've got the uh, exit nozzle here and that's a tube that comes up the front of the barrel and then can be seen inside and so the oxalic acid crystals drop into the bowl onto the hot plate are vaporized or sublimated and then those vapors come through the tube and out the end of this nozzle. And that's the part that goes into the hive and the vapor is then released into the brood box. So this is the bowl that you would place the oxalic acid in. We're gonna put a sample of water into this. And then you take the unit and you fit the unit to the bowl by pushing it down hard and we'll show you how that works. And then when you turn it over, the contents of the bowl then drop from the plate at the top onto the hot plate where they're immediately vaporized, sublimated, and the resulting vapor comes out of the tube. 
So let's just take a look at the health and safety implications and the kind of equipment that you're going to need to make sure that you are well protected when you're using this equipment. It's a really serious issue and any beekeeper that's using oxalic acid as a vaporizer or sublimator, then you really need to take all the precautions you can to make sure that you and anyone working with you is safe. So we're looking at face mask, eye protection, and also because the oxalic acid vaporizer gets really hot, we also need some gloves that are um, going to be strong enough to protect our hands from the heat from the base of the vaporizer bowl. So what we've got is some FFP3 molded valve disposable respirators. Now these are designed to protect against concentrations of organic vapors, inorganic and acid gases and ammonia up to 20 times OEL and also fine toxic and non-toxic dust and fibre particles. It's important that whatever mask you're using, it's up to the job. So always talk to the people that are maybe supplying you with the masks to make sure that it's appropriate for use with oxalic acid. Next, we've got some uh, eye goggles and these are designed to protect your eyes should anything flare up and the vapour maybe get blown back into your face. You've got some protection with some decent goggles. Uh, these have a very trendy green colour, as you can see, so they must be good. Uh, but again, we've made sure that they have a seal all the way around the face so that when they're put onto the face, none of the uh, vapour is going to be able to get into be in contact with your eyes. And finally, the gloves that I've got are designed to withstand temperatures of up to 250 degrees centigrade and the operating temperature of the vaporizer is 230 degrees centigrade so these will be more than adequate for the small amount of contact that we have with the vaporizer bowl. So remember before you do anything else make sure that you have the correct and appropriate personal protective equipment before you even start to think about using an oxalic acid vaporizer or sublimator. So now let's take a look at the equipment that we're going to need to get the vaporizer to work. So in order to power the ProVap 220 you're going to need either mains power or you can use uh, a combination of a battery with uh, something called a DC to AC power inverter. So what we've got here is a 90 amp hour leisure battery and you can pick these batteries up from a range of different outlets and what we're going to do is we're going to connect something called an inverter to it and that's this piece of equipment. Um, and I'm very grateful to the guys in the UK at our local Machine Mart store who were able to advise me uh, exactly what I needed and so if you're in any doubt about what you need then have a word with somebody in one of the stores that knows what they're talking about and they'll be able to advise you accordingly. So this converts the uh, output from the direct current of the battery to the alternating current that we need for the ProVap 220 and you can see here it's got the three pin plug socket and also the on off switch. So we're going to connect the ProVap 220 to the inverter and then we're going to con connect the inverter to the battery. So I know this is going to sound really patronizing to some people but remember it's the red connector to the red terminal and then the black connector to the black terminal. So they're firmly attached and then we can take the ProVap 220 connect that to the inverter and that's connected nice and firmly and then we can turn the power switch on. Okay so we've now got the 
ProVap 220 warming up. That's going to take a couple of minutes. The temperature rises quite quickly. It is still quite chilly, but the temperature is going up really well. Uh, it doesn't show up terribly well on camera, but on the back of the unit, uh, we've got two readings. One shows the temperature that we're aiming for, which is 230 degrees, and then there's the temperature that we're currently at and that's currently rising up. So what we're going to do is to pop a little bit of water into one of the caps to simulate the oxalic acid and then we're going to pop that onto the ProVap 220, turn it up, the water will drop down onto the heater plate and that will then obviously vaporise and become steam and we'll hopefully be able to show you the steam coming out without having to put on all of the protective equipment. I'm going to wear the gloves because you know, obviously I don't want to burn my hand, but uh, I'm not going to put on the mask or the goggles on this occasion. So we've got the temperature up to our working temperature of 230. It's going to fluctuate a little bit between maybe 225 and 235. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water into the cup. And then we're going to use the water instead of the oxalic acids just to give you a demonstration. I've got my glove on so that when I turn the ProVap over, I can push it down from the bottom onto the bowl and then we can invert it again and that will allow the steam to then come through the tube and, uh, and we'll be able to see it in action. So we're at our working temperature of 230 degrees. So we just turn it over, place the bowl on and you can see immediately it's steaming and that would be oxalic acid vapour going into the hive and that's it finished. And with the oxalic acid vapour it's only going to take around 20 seconds for all of that oxalic acid to sublimate and come through the tube and into the hive. So that's our ProVap 220. I think it's going to work really well when we get it out into the apiaries and use it to um, treat for the varroa mite. Unfortunately we'd already treated all of our colonies prior to um, taking delivery of the ProVap 220 uh, but we will be able to use it to treat uh, for instance swarms that we collect if we wanted to uh, make sure that they uh, had as few varroa mites on them as possible while they're in a broodless state you could use them on a swarm as well so it's not just for use through the winter months. All of the details of the ProVap 220 will be on the website and the details will be in the description below. If you'd like to chat more about it then please get in contact via either my contact page or through our Facebook group which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics or check out our Patreon page where you can join in the conversation there and I'll happily tell you some more about this particular product. So we're going to head off for a cup of coffee and we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching. We're going to look at the really important safe, safe and healthy. <laughs>